52 years ago, this landing site in Inner Mongolia was where China's first man-made satellite, Dongfang Hong one was launched. In April 2022, when China's Shenzhou 13 astronauts returned from their space station mission, the Dongfeng site was also where the crew members landed. The Shenzhou 13 manned spaceship has three crew members Chai Zhegong, Wang Yaping, and Ye Guangfu. The spaceship blasted off from the George Wen Satellite Launch Center in northwest China on October 16, 2021. Later on the same day, it docked with the space station core module Tianhe. The Shenzhou 13 crew conducted their first extravehicular activities on November 7, 2021. Wang's EVAs made her the country's first female astronaut to leave footprints in outer space. The live class given by the Shenzhou 13 crew in December 2021 was the first ever such lecture from China's space station. In the same month, astronauts Jai Zhegong and Ye Guangfu conducted the second EVAs by the Shenzhou 13 crew. Just days later, for the first time, Chinese astronauts welcomed in a new year at the Chinese space station. On January 1, 2022, the trio crew held a live Space Earth talk with around 500 students in Beijing, Hong Kong and Macau, sharing the space dream and aspirations. During their six months in space, the three astronauts completed a series of difficult maneuvers. On January 6, the space station's robotic arm grabbed and moved a cargo spacecraft, the first time that such a move was conducted at the space station. Two days later, the Shenzhou 13 astronauts completed the manual rendezvous and docking experiment with the Tianzhou 2 cargo craft. The trio also became the first Chinese to spend the nation's most important festival, the Chinese Lunar New Year, in outer space. On March 23rd, a second live class was held from China's space station, attended by students from three classrooms across China. After completing their space station mission, the Shenzhou 13 crew returned to Earth last weekend. Detailed preparations were made before the astronauts touched down at the Dungfeng landing site. 
我们有一支专业的搜救力量和地方的搜救力量，还有应急的搜救力量，这么三支三支力量的部署了，可以说航天员只要返回来，我们可以把它安全的接回家。A batch of new equipment was used for the latest search and rescue mission for Shenzhou crew members. This is our torch. In the flight tank, the situation is not very special. Only this one car can complete the search and rescue mission. The Shenzhou two is not available. The Shenzhou three is available. The Shenzhou 13 crew members had lived and worked in the space station complex for 183 days. It's the longest stay in space by Chinese astronauts on a single mission. This journey marked another milestone for China's space exploration and will be succeeded by more such tours in the coming months.